Ed DeMaio here for Jack's Place Meditation. Today I was going to talk a little bit about breath. You know, we always focus, in the meditation we always focus on our breath. You know, kind of staying conscious of our breathing moment to moment. Being aware of where we are with our breath. Bringing the uh, unconscious conscious. So a lot happens when we breathe, um, and every function of our body, be it psychological or physical or emotional, is driven by our breath. So the amount or the, the range of possibilities or uh, our, our increase as we breathe, as, as the oxygen level increases. So in my life, if I am, <clears throat> for whatever reason, I'm walking, you know, a little, a little hunched up. If my go-to posture is closed here, and maybe, uh, maybe I'm looking down more than, um, <clears throat> you know, more frequently than, than not, then I'm restricting myself. I'm restricting the amount of oxygen I let into my body. So if I take a deep breath from this position here, let's see, I'll exhale completely. Okay, there's tops. Now I'll try that again. And when I get to the maximum, I'll, I'll, I'll straighten my spine. So here we go. So to me it feels at least double, if not an extra third oxygen coming into my body if I'm carrying myself in what I usually call a respectable posture. You know, my, 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 sh my shoulders are down, and a little back, you know, I'm actually um, kind of showing my, my chest, my heart area, you know. Um, so, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that can get in the way of that. There's a lot of personal perceptions, a lot of beliefs about the world, you know, uh, you know, that can keep us, that can keep us contracted in our posture. And there is definitely a correlation between being retracted in our posture and the amount of oxygen we we are getting in our body. And overall, you know, you know, over the span of a lifetime, there's a lot of functionality that does not happen when we are constantly restricting the air, the oxygen to our body. So when I'm able to, when I, you know, I'm standing and my, my spine is straight, I'm kind of head on, looking at the world head on. A lot of times, the things that are preventing that from happening, that don't make that the go-to, you know, are things that uh, are really worth exploring and are really worth understanding you know, because a lot of times these these uh, events, you know, that most likely have been traumatic, that happen, these events that, that kind of keep us contracted, there's a, a belief that we have. And, as, and if we believe that whatever that message was is true, then we're going to stay contracted. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna continue through our life believing in those limitations or that reality. But if we take some time, you know, through 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 the breath, through meditation, through uh, Gestalt work, uh, cognitive therapy, whatever the whatever the modality is, to kind of go into that room and uh, clean it up a little bit.
put things away put things away nice maybe it's forgiveness maybe it's uh, understanding maybe whatever whatever that is needed that's keeping us frozen you know in that limiting posture breaking ourselves free from that is usually means breaking to a different level of understanding about who we are breaking out of an old pattern maybe the voices of our our the critical voices from our past maybe they uh, they need to be unseated maybe they, because they are kind of running the show and so if I have that critical voice constantly running in my head you know I'm gonna oh my god I can't believe uh, uh, you know it's like this oh uh, so I'm contracted because I'm believing this critical voice that was was never true and was most likely given to us out of affection of a kind of misguided affection than anything but it's up to us like no matter what is happens to us you know once we get to a certain age then you know it's it's uh, it's up to us uh, to 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 right any wrongs or to you know put things away nice a lot of times through uh you know through the our domestication process through our childhood you know things don't always go well you know and, and you know maybe it goes back to how in school you know they they teach us how to um, they, they give us sex education but no relationship training so that's kind of backwards uh, that that uh, there, there's not even that will they'll, they'll make sure that we graduate knowing how to make kids but not necessarily knowing how to treat them well it's kind of a kind of interesting thing so so it's really up to us to 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 really look at our choices you know and our behaviors and and to be the one to say hey you know uh, you know I do this compulsively you know it happens every time and I don't you know to actually try to make put the changes in motion and and take responsibility because uh, yeah, I wasn't it wasn't my fault the things that happened to me but it, it sure enough is my responsibility to write that once I'm out of a certain age and especially if it's causing if it's causing harm to others and um, so basically so the breath gives a lot like I said all of our all of our major all of our entire body mental function physical function digestion it's all driven by oxygen so if I'm if I'm taking in good oxygen my uh, my, my thoughts are gonna be clearer my you know my body my digestion I'll get more out of my food I'll I'll, I'll, I'll actually you know, when I when I when I'm cleansing myself uh, from eating, I will you know I will it will be more efficient. Everything is more efficient the more oxygen we have in our body. So our our capabilities or the the options that are available to our to our body systems increase with the amount of oxygen. One way that they increase is through is 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 through processing. So if I say intentionally breathe deeply and fully, you know, for 20 minutes or 40 minutes or yeah, a half an hour, and I'm I'm taking in deep breaths, I'm balancing my inhale with my exhale, so I'm My whole torso is in motion, my gut's moving, my shoulders are moving, everything's in motion because I'm bringing out that much air in my body and just letting it go. And the more I do that, say I do that 20 times when I first wake up, even before I get out of bed, when my feet hit the floor, I'm gonna be in a significantly different mind space than I was 20 breaths before. Same thing with going to bed you know 20 breaths lay down in that bed focus take these 20 balanced kind of quick breaths 
wow. Sleep comes easy because I'm, I'm kind of topping off my tank. I, I, I'm giving myself this extra bit of oxygen and I'm able to do things with that oxygen. And um, I find myself doing that, I, I'll sleep better. And you know, if it's the morning time, I will have a better morning if I stop and take those two, 20, 100 connected breaths before rolling out of bread. And uh, that, that process can continue if you know if you go longer say for 20 minutes or half an hour a lot of times something will come up something that isn't right something that that was not put away well has the opportunity to, to surface and and uh, be recalled to, to, to the mind and and be processed so then you have another opportunity to see it more clearly so um, so if I'm, de I'm deep breathing deeply and fully, and then um, and all of a sudden I get, you know, something comes up. Maybe it's, uh, you know, an embarrassing situation that happened or something comes up, it comes up, but it doesn't come up by itself. It comes up with, um, with like this, with, I say like with a, you know, as if a guardian angel came along with and, uh, and it becomes really clear for me in that process to see where things truly fell. So was that situation telling me that that I was worthless? Did is that that is that that is that the bottom line that my 6-year-old mind took away from that situation? So by 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 bringing that up again with the breath I'm able to see just where the responsibility fell with like this mature vision and a lot and there's so many different topics in different areas where I've gone through this process and have really just let go of a lot of of negative things that um, I felt at the time were, were unavoidable and, um, and permanent. And then to take the time and re-examine and, and kind of live through, but yet at that crucial time when I, when I made that false truth, and believed it if I get to that point and I take another deep and balanced breath it's like this switch comes on and everything shifts and the one the, the statement that I could never have said before and believed I can now say with ease because I truly see from that trauma where the lines really were unaffected by my seven, five to seven year old thinking and it has uh, given me a new lease on my life. It, I, I say actually that if it wasn't for the breath work and for the process work that I've done that I probably wouldn't be here. I'm talking to you right now. It's been a um, the journey of the breath is a wild ride and it is one that that keeps us keeps us true to who we are and keeps us connected with our purpose so never underestimate the power that lies within your breath so that's it for this week we're going to be uh the uh some logistical news with the with the writers group. We're going to be meeting at Blossom Park from now on, until Jack's officially opens up and we have a bathroom. So um, we'll be meeting at uh, Possum Blossom Park, and I'm uh, heading over there right now. So maybe we'll see you there. Have a great day.